The College of Veterinary Medicine of Central Mindanao University have been consistently recognized as one of the premier institutions that delivers quality veterinary education in the Philippines since 1975. For 46 years, it is one of the top performing schools in the veterinarian's licensure examination with a passing rate that has been consistently higher than the national passing rate. The college also takes pride in its consistent performance in producing top-notchers in licensure examinations. Since 2009, the college has been recognized by the Commission on Higher Education as a center of excellence in veterinary education. Our Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program has been identified as a Zonal Veterinary School in Mindanao and was awarded by the Accrediting Agency of the Chartered Colleges and Universities in the Philippines, a Level 4 Phase 1 status. The college is also recognized in international arena by being a permanent member of Asian Association of Veterinary Schools, Southeast Asia Veterinary School Association, and a core member of the Greece Network. Paving the way to internationalization of higher education, the college invested time efforts and resources to help Central Mindanao University obtain an ISO 9001-2015 certification and receive a three-star institutional rating by the Quaquarelli Simons World University Ranking. Aside from instruction, the college has a rich history of discovering new knowledge through research and development undertakings, as well as advancing the well-being of animals and people through cooperative outreach efforts. The faculty, staff, and student researchers have developed new clinical treatments using natural products, conducted surveillance of economically important diseases of livestock in partnership with local and international research institutions, and advance the One Health approach to address complex health issues at the interface of animals, people, and the environment. The humble achievements of the College of Veterinary Medicine are made possible through its competent faculty members, hard-working staff, state-of-the-art equipment and facilities, and support from the university administration. In recognition of the students' achievements and efforts, as well as to pay tribute to their parents, the College of Veterinary Medicine has been holding the hooding ceremony for its graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the College of Veterinary Medicine's virtual hooding ceremony for 2021.
to all. It's a distinct honor and pride to welcome you to the College of Veterinary Medicine virtual wedding ceremony. This special ceremony adds to the graduation experience by making it possible for the faculty, staff, family, and friends to celebrate the success and accomplishments of the graduating class in a more intimate, formal setting. It marks the culmination of years of perseverance and hard work and the beginning of the next phase of the graduate's life, which are milestones worth celebrating even in this difficult time. This hooding ceremony is a symbolic confirmant of the hood for the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine degree to the graduating class. During the ceremony, the candidates wear the academic regalia consisting of the academic gown, cap, and hood. The gown represents the candidate's educational attainment. The cap symbolizes intelligence and superiority, while the hood serves to communicate the candidate's school and field of study. The hood also symbolizes the responsibilities and obligations that a veterinarian should face in the workplace. To our dear graduating class, we at the college are extremely proud of all that you have accomplished. Not only did you finish the academic requirements for the degree, it was done during unprecedented circumstances. I am confident that the knowledge and competency that you gained and the value of commitment, resilience, and integrity imparted to you will serve you well in the years to come. Wherever your journey takes you, I have no doubt that you will continue to serve as worthy ambassadors for CMU by building upon our reputation for excellence. To the proud family of our graduating class, congratulations and thank you for your patience, understanding and support through all these years. I am highly optimistic that the knowledge clinical skills and experiences that your children have gained have fully equipped them with the competence they need to become successful veterinarians. Finally, I'd like to commend all the highly committed and hardworking members of the academic institution, from the faculty and support staff to the administrators, for everything you have done to consistently produce highly competent graduates. Congratulations to the Veterinary Medicine graduating class of 2021. Our warmest thoughts and highest hopes are with you as you celebrate your accomplishments. Good day, everyone. To the honorable members of the CMU Board of Regents, much valued and respected officials of the Commission on Higher Education, my respect to the Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine, Dr. Melrose P. Condino, to the ever young senior faculty and promising junior faculty members, to the ever dynamic and dedicated staff of the College of Veterinary Medicine, to the ever supportive and hardworking parents, guardians of the graduates, to the honorees of this pudding ceremony, the CVM graduating class of 2021 and the rest of our friends in the online community, a blessed day to all of us. My felicitations to the batch 2021 graduates of the College of Veterinary Medicine for your well-deserved success. The degree you have earned suits you well. Harling, it was the best gift not only for yourself, but most importantly, for your proud parents, guardians, relatives, friends, and loved ones. Truth be told, this pandemic changed our lives. Most of you may have struggled as this unfortunate event befall in your times. Dreams become positive and goals seem an 
achievable. But you beat all the odds. Now, you are here and victoriously conquered the most distressing academic turmoil. Though we are doing this ceremony virtually, know that it is equally important and as precious as doing it physically. For what matters is the weight and significance behind this ceremony. All the people around you, including us, your CBM faculty, can confidently assert now that there is no limit to what you can do and to the heights you can scale. Surviving the circumstance give birth to a bolder and better version of you. Our dear CVM graduates, you are the true definition of a victorious student for patiently keeping up the pace, creatively modifying result, and wonderfully much doing the art of fasting and buses. This is a major win for all of you and for all the people who believe in you and we could never be prouder. Once again, our dearest graduates, take pride and responsibility in bringing the name of our beloved College of Veterinary Medicine, Central Mindanao University. Whatever life may bring you, show to the world what CMU-CVM graduates are. Make us proud by acting wiser, soaring higher, but maintaining the humbleness in you, living happier, and laughing better. To all those who continually wave the banner of Central Mindanao University College of Veterinary Medicine, with much love and dedication, my sincere words of gratitude. The college is what it is now because we are here and you are here to support our beloved College of Central Mindanao University. My future colleagues, my colleagues and staff of the College of Veterinary Medicine, ladies and gentlemen, friends, I welcome you all and thank you for being a significant part of the second virtual holding ceremony of Central Mindanao University College of Veterinary Medicine. Thank you very much. Keep safe and God bless everyone. Mabuhay ang Central Mindanao University. Mabuhay ang College of Veterinary Medicine. To our University President, Dr. Jesus Antonio G. Dereje, the Vice Presidents of this University, to the Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine, Dr. Melros P. Condino, to the Chairpersons of the various departments of this College, to our esteemed faculty and our ever-supportive staff, friends and viewers from our online community, to the proud parents and relatives of the graduates, and most of all, the triumphant CVM graduating class of 2021. A pleasant day to all. It is with great honor and joy to introduce to you our guest speaker for this Hooding ceremony. He is a friend and colleague of mine under the Department of Medicine, Surgery, and Zootechnics of this college. Currently, he handles subjects in ruminant production and medicine as well as senior clinics. He conducts research related to natural products and biologics, vector ecology, and animal production, and extends his expertise in animal production to the communities within the province of Bukidnon. He also serves as one of the board of directors of the Philippine Veterinary Medical Association Region 10 or PVMAR 10. Born on May 17, 1996 in the Southern Highlands of Misamis Oriental, Claveria, our guest speaker is the third of four children and the only son of Mr. Paul S. Valcorza Sr. and Mrs. Marvie D. Valcorza. During his elementary and high school years, 
our guest speaker is already excelling in both academic and extracurricular activities. He spent his elementary years at Claveria Misamis Oriental, Cherubim's Learning Center Incorporated from 2003 to 2009, and graduated as the class valedictorian, and continued his secondary school at Misamis Oriental State College of Agriculture and Technology Laboratory High School from 2009 to 2013 and finished as the third honorable mention. He pursued his Doctor of Veterinary Medicine degree in this very institution from 2013 to 2019. Being a consistent Dean's Lister, he continued to excel during his college days. Not only that, our guest speaker showed his leadership skills as he was one of the university's most outstanding student leader of the year in 2019, in which he serves as the premiserius of one of the long-standing student organization of CMU-CVM, the Vet Jose Comitatus Stage from 2018 to 2019. Even then, he showed his dedication and diligence as a student and a leader, and so harvest the fruits of his labor as he graduated as the class valedictorian of the CVM class of 2019 and the recipient of SEVA Academic Excellence Award, Jose Valiacera Obidencio Excellence Award, and Jose Valiacera Obidencio Leadership Award. And to top it all, ranked as the second placer during the Veterinarian's Licensure Examination held last August 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome the young, dynamic, and ever-active guest speaker, Dr. Paul D. Balcorza, Jr. Let us start by saying, this message is not so inspirational. To our ever-supportive University President, Dr. Jesus Antonio G. De Riges, sir. To our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jose Alexandra Abelia. To our Vice President for Research, Development, and Extension, Dr. Alan Peter Gantes, sir. To the best dean ever, Dr. Melrose P. Condino, ma'am. To our young and successful graduates, to our triumphant parents, family and friends, colleagues, and to all the viewers out there, let me convey my greetings and felicitations to everyone. A happy good day. First off, let me thank the College of Veterinary Medicine for granting me this opportunity to impart a message onto our vetlings as they take off from the four corners of the academy. It is such an honor to be speaking in your screens for this very special moment. After all, it is said that the hooting ceremony is more memorable than the graduation itself, and I hope it will be so. Pretty sure not more than 10% of our graduates today have always dreamed of becoming a veterinarian. Some of you might be here all because of what your parents wanted, whilst some of you were inspired by your vet parents. Some of you might have been inspired by your vet relatives, while some might have got lost in high school and could not decide what they truly wanted. Or maybe because ang vet medre gamay uglinya during the enrollment, which was the case before. Some of us might be here and have answered in our admission interview, I want to enroll in the DVM program because I love animals or have proudly blurted out in our kindergarten commencement, when I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian. As for me, that's my case. But despite all our reasons for taking this degree, we now have a common denominator. We all have achieved the diploma of a veterinarian. Actually, sa inyo ugmak pa, but let's claim it now. Despite all the pre pressure in the academe, you endured and you persevered to be in this very moment. When I was called to be your inspirational speaker, I accepted it, but deep inside I was contesting. How do I inspire these people? Currently, I am at my lowest, despite the smiles I have. I even think I'm in the early onset of midlife crisis at age 25. I'm not even sure if I'm doing the right thing or is the right thing I'm thinking the right thing to do. So maybe we can start off with a 
soft opening with a glimpse of how and why I came to my post right now. When I was in kindergarten, like I have said, I truly dreamt of becoming a vet. When I was six, 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 sige to ganina, kulang siya. When I was six, way back 2002, my father, a dairy farmer, brings me to his training in artificial insemination for cattle, where he continued to act as a dairy technician in our small community. During that time, he had very high regards to all the vets in his trainings and all the vets from NDA en route to our little dairy farm back home. Seeing how these rare species of ruminant practitioners do their thing in the field sparked a welling dream inside me. Thereon, I wanted to become a veterinarian. I don't know how and where it exactly started, but that dream started to fade in my elementary years. Because actually, like most students, pupils at that time, I got so fascinated with my teachers that I found myself wanting to, be to become like them. What I clearly remember back then during elementary years was that my father asked me if I wanted to become a priest. He said, pare, mungha. And deep inside, I was, as in time, my God. Which, although I, un I firmly answered, Dili ko anak uy, di ko tilo anak. In my most masculine accent. Then in later years of elementary school, my elder cousin started graduating from maritime school and earned so well in their profession that my father pushed me to become one. In high school, all I wanted to become was to become rich. That's all I wanted was to become a seaman. In high school, I started to realize how poor we were, that I was daydreaming of a life where no financial limitations could hold me from all the things I wanted. After all, most adolescents are quite shallow, and I was really shallow that time. And so I started taking admission exams in Cebu for maritime school, and I took two exams. I passed both exams, and in the medical exam, there is this Ishihara test, which I failed. I contested against the physician, Doc, ako, color blind, ka normal, so an Then my father was called in the exam room, and he perfected it. And imagine that, all my life, 17 years of existence, I thought I was normal. I failed. We went to Mindanao. We went home to Mindanao. I did not cry until we're home. And inside my room, I just realized that while we were going home, I was but an empty shell. Magunsa na lang po. No? The thought of me not going to school for that school year, the thought of me not going to college for that school year was so horrifying. It was already April 20, 2013, and most universities in our province were already closed. Their admissions were already closed until one high school classmate of mine told me that there is still an, um, an admission exam for CMU. And I still don't know what CMU is before. And I took the exam, enrolled all by myself, proudly, and got admitted. Actually, BVM wasn't my first choice. First was accountancy, second was biology. I was so ambitious back then, I wanted to become a doctor, a medical doctor. But I remembered my kindergarten dream and the doctor's salutation was so cool in just six years. I took that med. After that very long talambuhay, <laughs> what I truly want to imply is, like many, we traversed a long winding trail before we started to decide what we truly want or what we truly wanted to be. After all, Humans are but a huge lump of ambitions, of dreams and ambitions. After all, we are but trial and error in material form. Then we became veterinary students. I became, you became veterinary students. DVM students, mga vet med, taga vet med, mga hila sa campus. That's the number one, <laughs> well, nickname for us. Mga quote-unquote animal lovers, but 
that are also called Makawatan Giro. We were the campus party maniacs. Some became the residents of the hive, regulars of the phoenix, sa balistoy, or pharmacy kilid sa balistoy. They called us in a lot of names that they will never know who we really are. Only us will ever know what a true vetment is, and however, even if we were hailed mga hila sa campus, vetment students always encountered bullying and bashing. If not from other colleges, it would come from our upperclassmen and our faculty. A vetment student can't be onion skin. When we were in vetment proper, quote unquote, I don't know if there's such a thing, vetment proper, we were the first ever batch, batch to be implemented with the 50% passing rate. Followed by you, Grumbles, and of course, you, Antlers. And almost every day, if not every day, that our upperclassmen and our faculty make us feel how low qual we were and we will ever be. No offense to my colleagues now, but that was how we felt when I was yet a student. We always hear, kami sa una, 75%, kamo karon? Ayahay kayo mo, 50 ra. Di man mo kapasar of words, gamay ra jud mo pasar sa inyo ha. Awa, jud mo kasulay sa una, kani nga subject, kani kani, tapos 75%. Ah, grabe ito ba? Wala naman ang inyo ron. Na-owner naman ka kay 50% mo. It was so devastating. It was so hurtful. All of which indirectly implied that we can never become doctors and or we have slimmer chances than them. All because they thought they had it worse. But we endured it. You endured it. I experienced that. You experienced that. Some of you were my classmates, the foxes. Some of you are the grumbles, which were the closest batch to us, the foxes. And of course, our baby graduates of the antlers. Our batches share the same sentiments. But here we are now. We persevered. You persevered. Ah, naman to ilang bashing karun. The academy is but a huge dark channel we had to hurdle. And now that you have truly came out of that tunnel, let me welcome you to another tunnel. This is the life of the sober. This is the life of the uncertain. This is the life of an adult. It's another tunnel, yet darker, longer, and more treacherous. And it will consume another half of your life, if not more than half of your life. And if this is your goal a few years back, to graduate, to become a veterinarian. And yes, after reaching your goal, there will be another goal to reach. And it'll never end. To pass the boards and get your license, to have a job. And not just a job, but a stable job. And since already I'm here in this tunnel before you, let me give you three, three important reminders or tips. How to survive your first few years in this very tunnel. Reminder number one, be that quick brown fox. What follows? Who jumps over the lazy dog. Seize every opportunity you can see. Be that professional that is as sly as a fox. Not the cunning type of sly, but the knowing one. The one who knows when to risk a jump and when not to. But also that one who knows that a jump may mean failure, but he's still not afraid of jumping. A wise risk taker, a fox. Let us not pray rest in peace to all the opportunities that came our way, but died because we did not grab it. Let us, why am I talking about opportunities? Because after you leave the academy, opportunities will be flocking at your door, at your doorstep. Veterinary medicine is one of those professions with a sure job landing no matter what time of that year is and even if you have no license. Whether the government is hiring, the private sector is in bad need, or foreign gates open, a door will always be there. An opportunity will always be there. Whatever your grades are in college or no matter how many times you take the boards, 
a door is always open. The only difference between a regular and an irregular student, a top notcher and a second taker, are the numbers of the digits in their PRC license. After all, we are we will become veterinarians. But despite open doors, sometimes we don't end up in what we truly want. Because we are very uncertain. We are but a bunch of uncertain people. Sometimes the doors to what we truly want needs a very big jump, a very huge leap, a daring jump, a quick one. You have to be a very daring, quick pop. Opportunities are not only limited to your future jobs, actually. A matter of fact, your yet greatest leap is before that, the board exam. Some needs a year to prepare. Some needs only some months. But if you are in that very moment of deciding to take the leap, no matter what you do, nothing could prepare you. You will be anxious, you will be desperate, you will be kneeling, you will be begging, but you will jump for it. You have to, but if you fail, restart. Like what everybody does. Fail the exam, but never fail your ambition. The moment you embrace failure is the birth of regret. And regret will be the worst sentiment you will ever feel. You will ever feel. Doc, wala man ka na removal sa una, tap na, sure, pajid ka. Do you really have the bearing to define failure and regrets before us? Yes, I might have not felt the greatest regret in my life, in my life by so far. And my failures are different than yours. Yours might be academic, but mine are not. But only because we experience not the same kind of failure does not mean one can validate my feeling. A failure is a failure no matter how you define it, and the feeling will always be the same. Let us go back to how I, how I became a veterinarian. I failed to become what I truly wanted in high school that time. A door was shut down before my face, and it was the hardest to walk away from your ambition. But I had to restart. I had to go to college. I had to continue my life. For God will always have bigger plans. I may not I may have not become a seafarer, but right now I became a bored top natcher in the dream I once forgotten in kindergarten. Plus a faculty, a teacher, a dream I closed because I wanted more. I wanted to be rich. Karong gapangita na lang kung siman na mauya para kung tetan. Shut up. Then again, be the quick brown fox. Reminder number two. You have to be a bitch amidst all the grumbles. Ah, side note, the grumbles we're talking here are a group of bugs. Okay. So you have to be feisty, you have to be sharp, you have to be that indispensable bitch. You have to collect all that knowledge, skills, attitude. You gained over the years and weaponize it. So when you walk your way in a grumble of professionals, you are to be looked out for. Simply you have to be that competent bitch. When you start your first jobs, not all of you will become the solid rookies. But that's okay. Not all of you will be the client's favorite, but that's okay. When you get into a meeting, not all of you will be able to express yourselves in for a certain matter, but that's okay. But always make sure that when you leave the room, they will feel your absence. Make sure to become important. Do you have to be the bidabidahan? No, definitely not. I hate bidabidahan people. You have to make them feel that you are part of the team. The moment they feel that you are missing is the very moment when people realize your essence. You have to become part of their routine, to become part of their lives. Make them thirst for your presence, for your competence. So work your ass like a bitch and take that seat that belongs only to you. And if you're not the default rookie, work it to become one. 
Everyone bods in their own time, and our lives are not the season that we have to match our maturity and ripeness with others. Some may graduate ahead of you. Some may have. Some may take board the board exam two, three, four, and so many times. Some may start working while you are yet stuck in deciding what you want to become or what you want to do with your life. But that's all right. You are just a green mango waiting to be ripe to ripen. But let me tell you, like some green mango, evergreens exist. Imagine an evergreen bitch. Some of you will be unsure of yourselves, if not most, or if not all of you, actually. And the greatest questions you will ever ask yourself after graduation, most especially after you take the boards or after you pass the boards, sure na ni graduate na jud ko. And what if ni pasara ko by chance? What if pag ibutang ko sa field wala ko kabalun sa kumbuaton? But like an evergreen, you can never expose that sweet fruit of your years in CMU until you peel that uncertainty off and go out to the world and show him what you've got. Show him the bitch in you and be that relevant grumble. Reminder number three, like an antler, dear on doing good example. I'll give you three seconds to discern it. And of course, that's pun intended. When you start your first jobs, you will start to feel the life of a young professional. And sometimes, that will be where life starts hitting you. Some of you would witness and experience corruption firsthand in all its possible forms. In the system, in your bosses, in your clientele, or even in yourself. The system might attempt so, to swallow you, but always dare to become a good example. Despite of all our reasons in becoming a veterinarian, always aim to become the best veterinarian you can ever be. And you must always best yourself. You must always give your profession justice. Some of us loves joining the social media, media rumbles, tackling all veterinary issues and malpractices, done by pet owners and breeders. Well, we can even address or comment on how overpriced some clinics are despite poor services. Under boards performing clinical procedures all on their own without the supervision of a veterinarian. That's malpractice. Imagine a clinic branch in another area. No veterinarian with... I, Imagine a clinic branch in another area, manned only by a vet graduate, and yet patients, but yet pet owners get a signed vaccination card. How is that? Then again, dear on doing good example. If you love your patients, love your clients as well. I have heard some veterinarians having reservations when it comes to teaching their farmers of the know-hows in the practice because they were afraid that the farmers might end up capable of doing things on their own and cease to need veterinarians. And they would lose the edge against these little farmers, these clients. And that's bullshit. May pag iuli ni mo yung licensya. If you are to become a veterinarian, especially for smallhold farmers, if you are to, like, an LGU vet, right so, You will become a family to those farmers. You will become more than just your license. You will become more than just your salutations. You will know it. Labi na pag tunulan na kagshat sa farmer. Or hukaran ka o ka na tinulang ang manok. So give justice to their feeling. Now, another thing. Someday you will become the boss like an elf with its magnificent antler midst the forest. You will be sitting behind a table with requests for approval and communications piling in. Someday you will be more than just a doctor holding a syringe, but also a decision maker holding a pen. And as pen is mightier than sword, it is also more powerful than syringe. And a syringe might be holding a life 
and so is that pen. There could be times in your professional lives where corruption will be just at the tap of your ball pen or fountain pen, whatever. And all it takes are just a few strokes of your signature. But when that time comes, close your eyes. Try to rethink of why did you become a veterinarian? Is it to step on others? Then again, let me say this. Be an antler. Be your undoing good example. Side note, I like sing it, I love Dutch. Charot. I only have a quarter left for my message and I would like to allocate this quarter to give you a chance to acknowledge and give thanks to all the people that are, in one way or another, has contributed to your success. This is your success. First off, give thanks to, give thanks to your teachers, your mentors, who molded you to be the best professional you could ever be. After all, the moment you get admitted in the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program, you already were professionals, yet in training. The mentors, even your upper class men, who guided you to become who you are right now, the vet med culture they have passed on to you. Let us be thankful and let us thank them. If you would post on your social media accounts about your graduation, never forget to give thanks to them. Your batchmates, your thesis mates, your lovers, your very own future colleagues, thanks, thank them for holding your hands and never leaving you in the fight. Dear Samahang Pinagtibay ng Tagay, Pinagtibay ng Tanduay, we share these cheers. Tonight and in the following nights and days of your stay here in Muswan, cherish every little moment you have with your classmates, your batchmates. I am telling you, the moment you step into young adulthood, you would slowly sober up. As a batch, your get-togethers will slowly diminish one by one People will start living or simply absent in your get-togethers due to their jobs, their families, their different priorities. You will have different circumstances in life. And you will miss them so much. I miss my classmates so much. I miss all the foxes and, bat foxes and big sons out there. I love you guys. And as a young graduate, I really miss those CMU walks with my barcada. Pinatya na nga inom sa Phoenix, sa Hyde, Balistoy, tambay sa Lincoln Park, sa Grandstand, sa college. You will miss the buzzing hallways of VetMed. And there will be nights na mag ka alone in your room reminiscing all those memories. So make sure dagan kag memories para makaisa po kaka-case. You will all miss it, but you can't go back to that as you take your diploma. I am telling you, so grab this chance to bond and create more memories of Muswan as much as you can. Dili sa murag na mamatay ng murag na mamatay ang sound. Pero I swear guys, mingawang dito mo sa Muswan. That is how we are feeling right now. Pero of course, di miganan mo balik o college. Hasal kayo. Now, if you are currently with your parents or guardian or family, and if you are away somehow, please call your families right now, your parents. Right now, as you and them are watching the same video, as you and them are having the same view, same view, please call them. Please take your phone and in this very moment, please call them or hug your parents. Tell them how thankful you are to them. Tell them how you truly feel right now. In my first month in college, I called my parents and said in a defeated voice, Tay na ingon ba? kanang basin may extend ko isa ka tuig dayon gasto man dayon ang vetment i i really don't know what vetment feels inside which my father answered paning kamot lang diha maning kamot pud mi diri and side note my father is just a high school graduate and my mother wasn't able to finish first year high school we are but a family of farmers we don't even own our land our own land our parents have always been there for us bala gayo ko sila in our stay here in Muswan, pretty sure they have always been thinking about us. Nagkaon na bata diri, gakapas mo na bata, gakatulog pa bata, kung gilang tanta, nahulian na bata. When you step right out of your door, kumubalik na mong Muswan, 
some of your parents dili makatulog og tarong anang agad din up because they will have separation anxiety kung nakaabot ba ka og hapsay malinaw din sa musuan maybe some of you weren't able to realize that but then again let us thank them for worrying for us let us thank them as they taught us how to grow and strong and capable of living on our own and surviving that med. We owe that to our own, to our parents. And I know that because <laughs> I cared for such things in this very hall two years ago, uh, two years, one month, one week, and one day ago today. That was June 21. sa mama sa una, wala ko naka-appreciate na kanang dili mo gud inaw dili gapan naw akong parents ako ah, sa busuan dili sila hilig anak but then i have na ko na feel ang sentiments sa kong mama nga mao dey ko gina huna huna every time magtawag ko na magi ubok ko magi lantan ko ma wala na koy balon tapos dili sila makapadala diretso magmahay pa ko sa ilaha Pero mas sakit sa ilaha dito. Nakabalo silang gakagot man na ilang anak. Wala sila ikapadala. And how painful that is for a parent. And all I thought for those six years of my stay here in vet med, kanang ako running own nga pagpanintam. And that very moment, I hugged my mother in that area. And dito na ko na feel how ungrateful I was. So, uh, what I want to say is, dagan ka ayun na og mga sakripisyo atong parents kung wala gisaba sa ato. Uh. And please, in this very moment, let them feel their triumph that you have succeeded. When we were born, we were their most precious. But katron niya kita na ang ko, let us make them feel how precious they are. So, uh, din na ako siya dugayin <laughs> It's kind of done. And now, as you have conquered the degree, this success is sweeter if you share it with others. So, before ta magbulag bulag sama sa tayo sa kanding, bulat to. Bulat to ako hagaran ng chat, guys. Dagang salamat and congratulations, Batch 2021. Welcome to adulting. Congratulations. Republic of the Philippines. College of Veterinary Medicine, Central Mindanao University, University Town, Muswan, Maramag, Kidney. Plaque of Appreciation is presented to Dr. Paul D. Balcorsa, Jr. In sincere appreciation for imparting his valuable insights and sharing his time, support and inspiration to the College of Veterinary Medicine, graduating class of 2020-2021. During the virtual hooding ceremony held on July 30, 2021. Given this 30th day of July 2021 at the College of Veterinary Medicine, Central Mindanao University, Swan Marama. Signed, Josephine P. Magadan, DBM, College Secretary. Signed, Melrose P. Condino. DVM PhD, Dean College of Veterinary Medicine. The College of Veterinary Medicine graduating class of 2021. Cyrilene Purgatorio Alferez. Neil Joyce LJ Dilariarte Amal. Marlo Jeb Campos Andres Ana May Macapobre Andrin Rina Tener Barrientos Neil Tristan Hipulan Belisario Diane Grace Gamit Binyan Samuel Alberto Ibanez Bonafe 
Philip Amiel Diabu Bonior, Lucel Bamenta Cabajo, Kenny Jeff Islan Cabanto, Andre Val Osal Camarenta. Keith Jared Fua Campos Kiola Daniel Baxarpa Cardenio Aldrin Fernandez Cristobal April Don Marie Paclibar de los Santos Maria Teresa Alambatin de los Santos Prince RJ Estrada Dili Valerie John Mandabon Doctolero Kent Samuel Andamon is Carlos Nathaniel Aldrin Palay Estabas Glessy Georgia Melendez Esto Geoffrey Scott Marabe Gabot Hanilu Esguera Galvan Eric Ralston Yap Garay Yewilin Paigalan Hilasio Jr. Mariela Mi Estores Hinaldo. Nicole Figoron Ginita. Adrian Joseph Flores Herania. Ronel Sungkit Hamago Jr. Saiza Botek Kalyawin. Carmelito Lusada Lupena Jr. Jerion Cara Nadella Manalo. Mariela Dane Tulang Mansalades Jan Fel Talpis Martel Z. Ramor Mondihar Phoebe Jane Dongdila Melchor Jara Morial Mercado Elaine Joel Dida Agon Nalang Karen Daphne Yu Namuag Angela Joel Calexton Narciso Weljen Ken Marie Ripolidon Palma Jessica Pabon Pandan Russell Ray Leda Paniza Santo P. Zarina Batuto Perez Glenn Don Salise Pimentel Mayin Paler Kinatadkan Carla May Pakingan Rudano Lizelle Lu Rusing Charles Nisanel Morada Robilius Angelica Duba Sagayan 
Gisela Espares Salahan, Stephanie Taasan Sanayan, Cherry Ann Maglasang Torrecampo, Jazel Hope Lingkasan Torigosa, Liel Janve Fernandez Tumapang, Princess Janine Tumulak Villaflores, Christian Louis Tagupa Villegas, Estrel Aneros Estanyol Isulat, Dexter Dale Mercado Zacal, Academic Awards under the Department of Anatomy, Pharmacology, and Physiology. Academic Excellence in Veterinary Anatomy is awarded to Samuel Alberto Ibanez Bonafé. Academic Awards under the Department of Microbiology, Parasitology, Pathology, and Public Health. Academic Excellence in Veterinary Microbiology is awarded to Samuel Alberto Ibanez Bonafé. Academic Excellence in Veterinary Pathology and Academic Excellence in Veterinary Public Health is awarded to Angela Joel Calixton Narciso. Academic Awards under the Department of Medicine, Surgery, and Zootechnics. Academic Excellence in Veterinary Surgery is awarded to Diane Grace Gamit Binyan. Academic Excellence in Veterinary Clinics is awarded to Neil Joyce L.J. De La Riarte Amau. Academic Excellence in Zootechnics is awarded to Angela Joel Calixton Narciso. The Best in Thesis Award is given to Christian Louis Tagupa Villegas for his thesis entitled Species Composition and Relative Abundance of Hematophagos Deptera at CMU Dairy Cattle Project. Mayor Jose V. Obedencio Leadership Award is presented to Zantope Zarina Batuto Perez for being the chairperson of the College of Veterinary Medicine Student Council, school year 2020-2021. Mayor Jose V. Obedencio Leadership Award is also presented to Valerie John Mandabon Doctolero for being the chairperson of the Veterinary Medicine Student Association, International Veterinary Student Association, School Year 2020-2021. Mayor Jose V. Obedencio Leadership Award is also presented to Jan Fel Talpis Martel for being the Grand Knight of the Venerable Knight and Lady Veterinarian Fraternity Sorority School Year 2019-2020. Mayor Jose V. Obedencio Leadership Award is also presented to Ronel Sungkit Hamago Jr. for being the chairperson of Clinicians Club School Year 2020-2021. Mayor Jose V. Obedencio Leadership Award is also presented to Geoffrey Scott Marabi Gabot for being the chairperson of Veterinary Medicine Student Association, International Veterinary Student Association, school year 2017-2018, as well as the chairperson of Clinicians Club, school year 2019-2020. Mayor Jose V. Obedencio Leadership Award is also presented to Neil Tristan Hipulan Belisario for serving as the Vice President for Mindanao of the National Congress of Veterinary Medicine, 
school year 2019-2020. And the last but not the least, the class valedictorian and the recipient of Mayor Jose V. Obedencio Excellence Award is given to Neil Joyce L.J. de la Riarte Amau. To our University President, Dr. Jesus Antonio G. Derige. To our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Jose Alexander C. Abelia. To our Vice President for Research, Development, and Extension, Dr. Alan P. Dargantes. To our Vice President for Administration, Dr. Ronil V. Sudaria. To our Vice President, for Resource, Generation, and Management Office, Dr. Agnes Vignon. To the Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine, Dr. Melrose P. Condino. To our Distinguished Speaker, Dr. Paul D. Valcorza, Jr. To the Administrators and the Faculty of each Department and the Staff of the College, esteemed guests and viewers, Proud parents, my fellow graduates, a blessed day to all. It is an enormous honor to be here today and deliver this speech in behalf of Central Mindanao University, College of Veterinary Medicine, graduating class of 2021, which consists of the batches, namely antlers, rumbles, and the foxes and vixens. First of all, we give thanks to our Almighty God. He deserves all the honor and praises for all the wisdom, courage, strength, unfailing love, and other forms of infinite goodness and grace that He has bestowed upon us on each day of our lives. Lord, You are my refuge, and I worship You with all of my heart. With You, all things are possible and everything is for the glory of your name. Today marks the peak of the many experiences that we have gone through as students. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing a long and arduous path. We took a lot of courage, effort, and sacrifice for the past six or more years. This is truly a proud moment for all of us graduating today, but more so for our parents, families, relatives, and all those who have sacrificed for us and helped us to go through this education. Indeed, we cannot do this alone. Despite the many obstacles, setbacks, and failures, we are here today because of our passion, perseverance, willpower, and faith that are greater than any challenges that we faced and with the people who have selflessly supported us along the way. Nagkagidlay pero nilahutay. It may be somewhat disappointing that we can't have a traditional graduation ceremony given that we are facing this pandemic but it should not stop us to come together in spirit to celebrate this victory. This academic year has been unlike any other that we have ever experienced. It has thrown our usual activities and interactions into deep crisis. Yet, despite the catastrophe, the flame within us remained unextinguished. And that is what mattered. Our zeal to brace on and continue moving forward. It is not simple to get a degree. We earned it with our blood, our sweat, our tears, our eye bags, our pimples, our walay tulog nights, and our famous walay ligo days. Parang kailan lang, we were asked by our professors during the freshman enrollment interview on why we wanted to attend the prestigious College of Veterinary Medicine. And we all knew that our universal answer 
was, I love animals. And then our vet med journey began. So there we were, first years, fresh men. Presko pa sa us. Whenever we see the higher vet med students in their uniforms and scrub suits, carrying toolboxes, cages with animals, and ropes or lassos, we were drawn very amazed and dazzled, and we always fantasized being in their place. Makaingon gid mig. Gahian na kayo anak nila, oy. Sigira na silang tuon ba? Wala na sila tayo maglingaw-lingaw. However, we were taken aback by a number of unexpected events during our first college party. And there we found out that the College of Veterinary Medicine is famous for having the wildest party in the university. Abi na puro study lang ning vet med. But in fact, this is the epitome of study hard, party harder. We also waited for NVAT or National Veterinary Admission Test throughout our sophomore year. The NVAT is an examination administered to all entering third-year vet med students which decide whether or not you're qualified to attend vet med proper. However, the administration of the NVAT was stopped throughout our tenure. And we just can't deny that some had doubts in our batch because of it. Yet still, here we are, coming out strong. During our third year days, which is the vet proper, we had our first ever uniform having our nameplates pinned on it, and we wore it with pride and honor, because we know we have worked hard for that moment to come. Lipay gid kaayumi and feeling na doctor ni ato. That's why even on Wednesdays we would still wear it. But then we experienced having a highly caffeinated, sleep-deprived state of delirium. And then there comes the moving exams. The skeletal bones in anatomy laboratory went missing. Kay di ay pang bring home na sa uban kay studyhan for the moving exam. It's also not easy to integrate all the metabolic pathways. Sa salugid ni sa VM hall mag take og exam because our answer sheet is a whole Manila paper or cartulina. And I can still remember my experience during post finals week, also known as removals week. I rode a multi-cab to Valencia, and upon getting off the vehicle at the terminal, my classmate shouted at me, Huy LJ, removal ka! And my normal response, nihila ko, pero well, this is vet med. Matira matibay. And remember that any removal, tres, bagsak, or take two does not define you. Then came fourth year. Goodbye uniform. Why goodbye? Because the uniform does not fit anymore. In the college, gaining weight is like an epidemic. Laliman bagud kag toon sa baga kaya mga libro. So the consequence would be stress eating. The fourth year struck us with the infamous four P's. Nanimahuk nagkapi pati among mga singot. Kulang na lang i-IV na mo ang kape para 100% bioavailability. It came to the point where it's like our brains have liquefactive necrosis. Kay, sabaw na ang utok. I had this lutang moment when my professor asked a question during class. He said, what is good? And I answered all the time. May gani ako ratapad ang nakadungog ato. And during that year, additional numerous sleepless nights were spent for processing tissue samples for histopathology. Nagpaunahay yung lumba sa microtome o sa staining kay dugay ang process. And it resulted to shipwrecks. Nangarek ang friendships and nangiaway ang mga bata. <laughs> So, 
During that year, our prefrontal cortex, cerebellum, hippocampus, and amygdala were greatly challenged because we needed to store in our memories the terminologies, scientific names, life cycles, formulas, and the list goes on and on and on. Yes, you heard it right. Formulas. Kay abig magvetmed wala na math. And after all the struggles, we have reached the fifth year. So yay, Clinicians Club! Finally, we have unlocked the level that says, Hello, scrub suits. Hello, surgery room. And hello, veterinary teaching hospital. And that was the moment when we felt that we are a few steps closer to becoming doctors. Finally, the sixth and final year level of the degree. It was a time when we started to reinvent the term normal due to the SARS-CoV-2 virus or the COVID-19. Surgery laboratory activities were halted. The actual OGT and field experiences were only done within a short period and we have shifted to the online platform. Thesis conducts were disrupted due to travel restrictions and declined requests or declined permissions to conduct studies in the concerned provinces. Some of us were forced or compelled to change our thesis study. I myself thought I'd never be able to graduate on time because our province denied my request to conduct my thesis study there due to various reasons regarding my research topic. As a result, my thesis study underwent adjustments and revisions during the month of May, and the deadline for the final thesis defense was in the last week of June. So, nakapuliki yung paningkamot para makagraduate ug masuklian tanan ng mga sakripiso o kahago sa ako mga ginikanan. And I know you all felt the same way too. Those hardships made us wonder that we even tried saying, Dilit na ko, kapoy na. Lord, tabang pahumana na ming tanan. But despite all the tears shed and anxiety suffered, we converted our frustrations to, Gamay na lang antos, mahuman na lagi ni and the famous countless Laban Lang. We fought and we prevailed because we kept the faith. We made it here by relying on each other or at times by simply toughing it out side by side. It was through many small victories that a battle like this was won. And so now, I really would like to be the first to say thank you because none of this could have been accomplished alone. We were all in this together. I would like to extend my warm gratitude to the people who have a huge role in shaping us into the veterinary graduates that we are today. The people who have terrorized us with learning. The people who have challenged us, not because they are evil, but because they only want us to be the best that we can be. Thank you so much, our beloved professors, for making this college excellent. To all the parents, those who stood as parents and did the part of being parents, thank you. Thank you for being our constant source of strength when we are being challenged by failure. Without your foundational support, none of us would be here now. Thank you for your sacrifices and for enduring all kinds of pain and for putting up with our attitudes along the way. And I just want to break the tradition of just saying thank yous during graduation ceremonies. So today, I want to honor the struggles and sacrifices made out of selfless love of our parents for us to be here now. We are sorry for all the hardships you have endured for us. We're sorry for our shortcomings as students. And most of all, 
as your son or daughter. You are our dedication and inspiration while we are striving to reach our dreams. We sometimes fail to understand the pain and cries that you have gone through. And we may be preoccupied at times, yet deep within us lies our dream of lifting the weight of the world off of your shoulders. And so we offer this honor to you and show our deep gratitude for lending your strength in pushing us to go beyond our dreams, even when we failed so many times as a student and as your son or daughter. Words of thanksgiving will never be enough to show how grateful we are. The achievement that we are celebrating today is dedicated to our dear parents and guardians, ug sa mga sumusunod pa nga mga kabanata sa mong kinabuhi, magpadayon mi sa pagpaningkamot para lang masuklian tanan ninyong sakripisyo o kahago para sa amua. Our graduation is not ours but yours. Our dear parents, we are only instruments of your mission. And so, we offer it back to you. Let me reiterate, this victory is not ours, but yours. To my fellow graduates, always remember that our relationship with all the people in our lives, without it, the greatest successes in life will lose meaning. This is the reason that we always strive to continue to learn and grow as a person and to make us the best veterinarians as possible. We do it not for selfish purposes, but to be able to serve others with the mission God has set upon us. Finally, I challenge myself and my fellow graduates to think beyond this day. I challenge all of us to embrace veterinary medicine and make a big difference in this world. Each of us has potential which we have proven by working so hard to be here on this day. But in order to realize our full potential, we must constantly remain as students. We shall not say farewell to our student selves because the most brilliant minds are always students. In veterinary medicine and in life in general, Learning never stops. As we continue to learn, we continue to grow. And as we continue to grow, we are able to serve others better. Maong padayon. This is not certainly the end, but a beginning. Once again, congratulations on our well-deserved success. I am Neil Joyce LJ De La Riarte Amo from the island born of fire, the island of your imagination, and the magnificent island where I belong, Kamigin. Ako sa katatak Kamigin non. Thank you and may God bless us all. Good day. First of all, I want to extend my congratulations. Congratulations to us parents who through prayers and sacrifices guided and supported these graduates. Congratulations to the graduates of Class 2021 of the College of Veterinary Medicine for their untiring perseverance. To our dear daughter, Nell Joyce, the Class Valedictorian, you make us more proud of what you've achieved. God has given you one of the best birthday gifts for yesterday. July 28 was your 22nd. Happy birthday. Please allow me to narrate briefly Neil Joyce's journey in life. 
when she was just a child, we knew God has given her the gift of intelligence. At two years old, she could already sing love songs, knowing she doesn't know how to read the lyrics of a video okay. She studied nursery one and nursery two in a preparatory school in our town at age four and five uh, respectively and proceeded to grade one at age five without going through kinder one and kinder two. Despite all this, she managed to be a consistent honor pupil from grade one to grade six and was a salutatorian in her elementary. In high school, she still was consistent and graduated top six among her class. It was her dream to study at Central Mindanao University. So after passing the entrance exam with the chance to qualify for the College of Veterinary Medicine, she proceeded to enroll. In her six years of study, she frequently would show and present to us her certificate of recognition as honor student during such those semesters. It made us more believe that she will be able to finish her course. The rest is now history. She made it and made it with distinction and recognition. Thank you to all the people, friends, and relatives who helped in many ways our daughter achieve her dream. Special mention to my in-laws, architect and Mrs. Rinaldo Mabilin for always being there as a guardian and second parent. Thank you for all the support and guidance and for the patience and the understanding. To Central Mindanao University, especially the College of Veterinary Medicine and its hardworking and responsible professors and instructors, thank you. Again, to my fellow parents, the class 2021 graduates, congratulations. We deserve to be proud. And to you graduates, we recognize your hard work and perseverance. Continue to take steps forward because you are now but prepared in the outside world. Be inspired and take pride of what you've achieved. Thank you and God bless us all. Please rise and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly pledge that as a member of Central Mindanao University Veterinary Medicine Alumni Association, I shall strive hard to live up to the standard of excellence of my alma mater, to elevate the mind and straighten the character, and to be always on the side of the law, freedom, and justice for the service of God, country, and mankind. It's a celebration of the past six years we have lived in the College of Veterinary Medicine. Let us now reminisce to those days and how far we have come. Those memories and people behind who helped us build and what we have come to do. Hold on to me as we go. As we roll down this 
unfamiliar road And although this wave is stringing us along Just know you're not alone Cause I'm gonna make this place your
Diyos makatao. Marunong maginas matatag sa paglago ng profesyon sa bayan at sa mundo. Mahal ko, mahal ko ang Pilipinas, tungo sa kanyang pagunan ang nawakas. Mahal na mahal ko ang aking Pilipino, pagbabago sa bansa'y matatamu. Tayo ay Pagkakaisa Upang talakay ng suliranin Sa pagtataguyod ng kalusukan Mga alagang hayop Sa bakuran kanayunan Mahal ko, mahal ko ang sa kanyang pagulad hanggang wakas. Mahal na mahal ko ang lahing Pilipino. Pagulad sa profesyon matatamu. Pagulad sa profesyon matatamu. Pagulad sa Um, in the conclusion of this program, I'd like once again to extend my gratitude to the university and the CVM faculty for making this happen, this particular event, especially in this uh, particularly dire time. In line with this, I'd also like to extend my gratitude to the students and their families for their understanding and patience especially with regards to the restrictions that are uh, present at this moment. So, dear students, I'd like to congratulate you for this moment, for achieving, or should I say, for completing the first and greatest hurdle in your path to a career of veterinary service. While the path you, you chose is a fruitful and fulfilling one, it is also one of constant commitment to service and excellence. Rest assured, however, that our faith in you is strong, and we wish you all success in your life. In the end of the day, to quote Winston Churchill, this is your finest hour. Godspeed and God bless.